Hello, welcome to Duncan Egg Bricks and to a slightly unexpected video, which I'm very happy to be able to bring you. This is a review of a brand new 2022 March Lego set. It's obviously not quite March yet. I've managed to get my hands on this a little bit early. This is set number 76398, Hogwarts Hospital Wing. As I said, this isn't technically due out till the 1st of March, along with a whole host of other sets. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I posted about being able to find this. It's just a local toy shop. Um, I've actually phoned them up a couple of times during the last week to find out if they'd got uh, the new sets yet, as I've been able to get them early there in the past. And they actually told me they were getting a shipment in today. So uh, as soon as that came in, they gave me a call and I drove over there. I braved uh, the storm that's currently going on outside in the UK, uh, the wonderfully named Storm Eunice, and went to go and get this set along with a couple of others, which I will be doing reviews on in the coming days. Um, obviously wanted to start with this one, as it's a Harry Potter themed set, and uh, it's one of only a few that we're getting at the moment. Um, so yeah, I went ahead, built it, and we will take a look at everything we get, starting, of course, with the minifigs. We get four total figs in this set, the first two of which are, of course, Ron and Harry from the uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, these are quite similar in a lot of ways to figures that came out with the Hagrid's Hut set, although they have a few notable differences, mainly in that these ones have got some um, sort of scarring and um, rips in their clothes and things, because obviously this scene that the hospital wing um, represents takes place after all the adventures, um, or well, I suppose after and before, if you count all the different time travel. So you'll see that certain things are are slightly different in their clothes. Ron has actually just got a regular red jumper, whereas I believe the Hagrid's Hut set had a dark red one. Um, I think dark red is slightly more appropriate, but I'm not going to complain too badly. The other major change here, um, with Ron especially, is that one of his legs is white. Um, these are mid-legs for all three uh, child characters in this set, or teenage characters. Um, the white leg is representing a cast, so this is after Sirius has attacked Ron and pulled him into the tunnel under the Whomping Willow. So Ron comes with that single white leg and also a three long bar acting as a crutch. Uh, the face prints I believe are the same as we've been getting for quite a while for the kind of uh, middle, uh, I was going to say middle age there, <laughs> the kind of middle years of Hogwarts. Um, so they are both double sided. I'll just pop the head pieces off. There we go. So yeah, as we'd expect, um, I do think it would make more sense for Ron to have the Han Solo hair piece as he did for the CMF Series 1. Um, but uh, there we go. I'll probably try and get my hands on another one. Um, right, let's go on to the other two figures who I think are a little bit more interesting. On the left there, we've got Hermione. Again, she's very similar to her minifig from the Hagrid's Hut set with that pink hoodie with some splotches of mud on it and a couple of small rips. Uh, the interesting things actually about her are the accessories that she holds. You'll notice that the main difference from the Hagrid's Hut minifig is that she no longer has a printed time turner around her neck. That is actually now a one by one printed tile, which I, I don't know if you can see the print showing up. Trouble is it's a gold print against the gold background. So I'll just try and pop that off and see if I can show you a bit better what it looks like. It's very small, so I don't know if it's going to focus on it. There we go, that's a bit of a better focus. Um, so you can see it's actually uh, the little tiny hourglass print, as you would expect there, just catching the light. You actually get two of these, um, so if you want to take the other one and go and make a terrible Harry Potter sequel, then you are more than welcome. Um, I'd still want to see The Cursed Child, to be fair. Um, so yeah, you get two of these in the set, and it looks really nice. Like I said, it is just against a uh, pearl gold one-by-one -one plate. Um, but I think that looks nice, actually, as an extra accessory. The other thing she's holding there is a cast for her wrist. I believe this is actually something that happened to Emma Watson whilst filming. Um, I could be completely wrong, and I'll probably look it up after I've said it and find out I am. Um, but it's a nice little detail nonetheless, and fits in with the hospital wing setting. The other minifig is uh, much more exciting, I would say. We get plenty of Ron, Harry and Hermione figs, but we do not, um, well, we haven't had any Madame Pomfrey figs, which is slightly surprising. Um, this is only the second set to really feature the hospital wing. Uh, the first was in the clock tower, which I might just pull down off the shelf to compare to the main build later. Uh, but this is really the first time we've got Madame Pomfrey. She comes with a wonderful new dual moulded hair, um, and uh, I suppose it's a... Uh, 
does it count as a wimple if she's not a nun? Um, the, the headdress that she wears is very accurate to the film. You've got that grey hair uh, dual moulded with the white headdress piece, which looks fantastic. Um, and her uh, outfit is actually weirdly reminiscent of uh, Princess Leia from Cloud City. Might actually use the same skirt piece, um, but then we've got a printed torso there. Just pop that clipboard off um, in white with dark red arms and accent colours. She also has, uh, is it a watch or something like that? Some sort of uh, timekeeping device um, attached to the front there. All the characters come with their wands as well. What she was holding is just a stickered 2x2 two two tile, um, just a sort of chart that you can clip onto the end of one of the beds. Not sure what wizards would actually have on one of these charts, but uh, nonetheless, it's a nice little detail and accurate to the film. Okay, that's it for the figs, just four in this set. Let's move on to the main build. As you would expect, this set fits into the newer modular style that uh, started last year with the 20th anniversary sets. I don't have any of those still built up, but I did review them. I'll link a playlist in the corner just there. Um, so if you've got any of those sets, this will fit right in with those. Um, it's obviously meant to be a representation of the hospital wing, which uh, is kind of behind the clock tower. Um, so we've got the clock tower clock, as you would expect. I believe this is the same printed piece that came with the clock tower set from 2019. Still looks really good. Um, they've got the main clock face and a smaller one just there. It's actually a feature in this that I wasn't really expecting and obviously not paid attention to the uh, marketing stuff closely enough. Um, but there is a feature to make the clock hands move and it's not round the back, it's actually up at the top. If I just tilt up, you can see there are two spires. This one at the front is fixed, but then this one in the middle actually rotates and as you do, it rotates the hands. So yeah, they rotate in unison. It's a slightly different technique used from the clock tower. There's actually a droid arm and a uh, round plate with a bar just there. But the overall effect is pretty good, actually. You can get it to show the same time as the uh, little printed clock, which I think is actually uh, not an uncommon piece. Um, the other set used a uh, minifig shield. This is just a slightly different way of doing things. Overall, the outside doesn't really look as good as the clock tower. However, the one advantage I think it has is these white latticed windows, which, um, from what I can recall, actually look really accurate. I believe this is the first time we're getting this window insert in white. Uh, previously, it was a available in black starting with the Great Hall in 2018 and has been made in uh, pearl gold in other sets but I'm pretty sure this is the first time in white so only the third colour we've ever had it in. It looks nice. Uh, sand green roofs overall in keeping with the uh, colour scheme that was established last year and uh, it looks decent you know it's um it's not going for as film accurate as some of those other sets, um, particularly the 2018-19 wave, which uh, for me I think is a shame, but then I am creating my own Hogwarts so it's not as big a deal. Uh, the entire thing is modular, so this will come off, the roofs will come off and things like that. I will show you that. Um, also, there's some of these slightly new uh, inverted slopes just there, which I've not had in any sets before, so that's cool to get. Let's just spin this round, and uh, first of all, I'll point something out that um, I don't think was in any of the photos that I I saw before I actually opened up the instruction manual. Now, uh, obviously this has got hinges, uh, the first one of these modular parts to actually have anything that uh, stops it just being a one big straight wall, uh, which is a criticism I do have of the system. Um, so that's good, you can get some angles in, but the set actually includes this. So this is, um, I think it's a 16 long brick, uh, 664, yeah, that's 16. And that actually just locks everything in place. It goes along the top there. So yeah, you've actually got, um, uh, you know, a, a straight section here. And if you take off everything on top, you can, of course, put something else on top instead or you know, rearrange things as you will. Um, I just think it's interesting that they don't advertise that. Um, it's not necessary. Obviously, if you put something on top, that could lock it in place anyway. But it's just a nice extra bit of support so you could put something potentially going across the middle. Anyway, enough about that. There's space up here behind the clock. When you turn the top, this big gear moves on the back. You can see the other gears. There's a couple of bevel gears up at the top to get the uh, the power to transfer. It looks good overall. It's a decent representation of the inner workings of the clock. There is a space to put uh, at least one fig up here. Of course, it's using these uh, 8x8 modified plates with grills on, so you can really only put a minifig in the middle or at the edges. Makes uh, some sense in that you can pose figures at angles, especially ones with the actual short, non-posable legs. Uh, but I do think it's a little bit of a shame, and I now have a massive collection of these modified plates, and I really don't know what to do with them. Um, so I'm going to try and use them in some future builds. Anyway, um, let's move down to the main hospital wing itself. Just come down a bit. 
This is quite a repetitive build, uh, but there are some nice details. The three hospital beds are built exactly the same, just uses these uh, fence posts, uh, not fence posts, fence pieces at the end, some of these curved bricks, and there is space to actually place a fig lying down on the bed. It's got to be one with mid or regular size legs. That'll fit just there. In fact, I'm not sure one with regular legs, uh, legs would fit. There isn't uh, a figure with regular legs included in this set, um, but uh, I don't believe they would actually fit, unfortunately. Got little bedside cabinets behind, uh, beside two of the beds, rather, with lights on them, as well as a little thing of flowers next to the bed that Harry is currently lying on. Now, uh, things are looking a little bit bare in here at the moment, so um, let's bring in some of the accessories that we get to fill this out a little bit more. The first of which is this great little build for some privacy curtains. Now, obviously, you're not going to get much privacy considering the size of this, but it is a really good build. Um, he says, just breaking things and knocking things over. Um, it's one of these sort of fence bull bar pieces, um, which you sometimes see on the front of trucks which fits perfectly to two by three tiles with stickers on them. And then the entire thing is actually held up with a blank white road sign. So that just stands there, um, perfect for standing on just a flat surface. Obviously you would have to do something else if you wanted to stand it on a studded surface. In fact, uh, while we're on stickers, the entire sticker sheet is just three total. So one for those, uh, each of those tiles and then one for this tile, which as I said, can go at the end of a bed. So that's accessory number one. Uh, accessory number two is just a very simple gold lantern. So that pearl gold, pearl gold lantern piece on top of a pearl gold fez. That's fairly simple. Small chair so somebody can sit beside somebody's bed. We've also got this little cart here, which I quite like. It seems to be a sort of mixture of uh, potions and also a bar of chocolate. Very important if you are here after a Dementor attack. Um, in line with that, we actually get a printed piece, which is a Bertie Bot's Every Flavour Beans package. Um, I'll be interested to see if they use this in any other themes apart from Harry Potter, because it's not specifically Harry Potter. It could just be jelly beans. Uh, that looks good. That also comes in the Hogwarts trunk, which I uh, actually did not see at the shop. And I don't think I'm going to get just because it's not quite my uh, cup of tea, to use a very British phrase. Um, nice use of trans uh, parts in lots of different colours there for the potions. We do get two of the uh, chocolate frog cards in this, so they're continuing that from last year. Um, I, of course, have all of my chocolate frog cards, so I will uh, either give these away to somebody or uh, just pop them to one side for now and see if I can find another use for them. The last few accessories are actually probably some of the most interesting things in this set, apart from the new minifig. First up, we have got a recolor and reprint of the Hedwig with spread wings, this time in a wonderful sand blue, which I don't think we've ever had any kind of owl in sand blue before, with a wonderful sort of orange prints for the eyes and great feathers. Exactly the same mould, and there's not actually a way in this set that they suggest for you to uh, suspend it. There's no trans clear pieces or anything to hold it up. That's not the end of the world. Um, it does look quite nice, actually, just perched up there on the side. Uh, no idea whether it's supposed to be one of the named owls or if it's just a generic owl, but more owls are always good in my book. The uh, second to last interesting thing here is a trunk. Now, uh, this is actually uh, only one new part, and that is the trunk lid. Um, the trunk lid is uh, completely new in that it is flat. The bottom is the same old treasure chest that we've been getting for years and years, um, and which has been representing Harry Potter trunks for quite a long time now. Um, but they were never quite right for that kind of trunk, and this new lid is uh, actually perfect. It comes in a few other sets as well. There's a pearl gold version, and there's a black version as well, I think, in the Defence Against the Dark Arts Hogwarts Moments book. Uh, this one is in a regular reddish brown, which may well be more versatile. There's actually nothing inside the trunk. It doesn't show you to put anything in there, um, which is a little bit old because normally there's something that goes in there but it's a nice accessory anyway very useful outside the hospital wing and finally we come to what is probably my favorite accessory in the entire set just because it is both really macabre and um really funny at the same time um it's really not from prisoner of azkaban it's from chamber of secrets it is a bottle of skelligro now, um, this is what Harry takes when Lockhart removes all the bones in his arm and uh, he needs to grow them back overnight. Now, this isn't, uh, this isn't a single 
new piece or anything. In fact, there are no new pieces in this whatsoever. It's a printed one by one uh, round brick or cylinder at the bottom, which looks great. It just says Skelligrow on it. One by one round plate, a one by one round tile with a bar on the top. And then at the very top is a printed baby head with a skull on it. Now, I, th I love this. It's fantastic. Obviously, it fits perfectly because it's not as big as a regular, um, you know, a regular minifig head, which would be way too big. But of course, it's the perfect shape because there is a uh, skull. In fact, there's a little bit more of a skeleton than the prop in the film, but this is just a perfect, uh, nice part usage. That's an NPU right there. Um, obviously, people are going to go and take it and make, uh, well, possibly make... Um, some uh, deceased babies um, or some sort of spooky Halloween babies or something like that. I'm not encouraging you to do that, but of course the option is out there. It is Lego. Um, I can see that being a really favourite piece, maybe around Halloween or something like that. But yeah, that is my absolute favourite accessory in the entire set. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much everything for the set. I will just show you the spare pieces and a quick look at the box and the instructions and then uh, let you know my overall thoughts. Spare pieces are fairly generous for a set this size, I think. Like I said, you get an extra of the printed time turner, along with uh, all the usual pieces you'd expect. Um, spare ones, there are three sprues in total. Um, uh, Hermione and Madame Pomfrey actually share the same uh, dark tan coloured wand. Um, what else is here? Spare plant stem. Uh, nothing too crazy, um, but a decent look overall. No spare skull baby head, unfortunately. The instructions are exactly as we've come to expect. Uh, interestingly, it was actually pointed out by uh, some other reviewers, in the background you can see the 2019 Clock Tower set, um, which is a little odd considering this is meant to be the same building. Um, so I'm not quite sure why. Um, obviously there's no suggestion that the two things are completely compatible or connectable. Um, so I'm not sure why they decided to go for that. Nice detail though with the full moon in the background. That is obviously correct for the, uh, the night in question that this scene is set. Um, I'll just flip to the back, so there's one thing that I noticed, uh, not all the way to the back. They finally fixed it! It's finally Rowena Ravenclaw. It's not two Ollivanders, which I think it was before. Uh, maybe that'll stop so many people commenting um, and uh, asking in various groups that I'm part of <laughs> what's going on there when they're collecting all their pieces. Uh, still shows all the uh, full build from last year's sets and just has an insert with that set in it as well. Obviously, no suggestions of um, any future sets, which is uh, annoying because I wanted to find out. These are the other sets that are out at the moment. I think I'm going to get the two Hogwarts moments from LEGO Direct because I have got some VIP points to spend. Hogwarts trunk, I think I'm going to give a miss um, unless I find it on a very good sale. Um, yeah, that's it for the instructions. Box is the typical one that you would expect. You know, exactly the same size, obviously a European box, so no part count on there. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much everything. Uh, I will just quickly pull down the clock tower set and uh, just do a very quick comparison. So there you can see the two versions of the clock tower that we've had in the past three years. Um, it is a bit of a shame that Lego is kind of treading over old ground. I know the hospital wing is something we've not really had before, um, apart from in here, but it's a shame they had to redo the building. Um, yeah, same printed clock piece looks just as good. Uh, different techniques for getting the smaller secondary clock in there. Um, overall, I think I do prefer this set here. This was more expensive, but it did come with extra builds like Dumbledore's office and the uh, Yule Ball dancing uh, twirling thing with these black gears. Um, overall, I think this is a decent price though. Um, it is, I think it's over 500 pieces and I got it here in the UK for £42. I think it normally retails for 45 which feels fairly decent. Um, this was the hospital wing inside the clock tower. Smaller, slightly less detailed beds um, in a different colour, actually sand green rather than the uh, blue of the new one. Um, still a mechanism for operating the clock, not quite as cool I don't think. Um, yeah, yeah, obviously not just focused on the hospital wing with some other things beside. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much everything for the hospital wing. Like I said, I don't have those uh, 20... Uh 21 sets, so I can't show you this with the everything else combined. I know that some other LEGO reviewers are going to be doing that, so uh, maybe just do a search on YouTube and find out who uh, who they are and when they're going to put those videos out. So yeah, there we are. That is uh, set 76398, Hogwarts Hospital Wing. 
I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's not the most crazy, intricate build in the world or anything like that, but I think people will really enjoy it, especially considering it is only an 8 plus set. Um, and if you are collecting those uh, sets from last year, then I think this is a, uh, a must have to add to all of those designs. And of course, the exclusive Madame Pomfrey is a very big draw for me. Um, this is actually set I'm going to keep intact for a little while. Um, as I think I've mentioned before, we're going to be moving house fairly soon. And um, I've not started on the second half of my Hogwarts mock. That is the stuff that's uh, all around the clock tower and the uh, covered bridge and Hagrid's hut and all that side. So I'm going to wait until I've got everything set up in the new house before I make a start on that. Um, but really looking forward to it and using all of these wonderful builds in that. So there we go. Uh, that was my early review of the uh, Hogwarts Hospital Wing set. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the set in the comments below and whether you're going to try and pick it up when it comes out or if you do manage to find it early. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more early LEGO reviews that will be coming in the next couple of days. Only a couple of extra sets. I um, didn't want to go completely crazy. Um, and uh, yeah, if you do like the channel, then there are ways you can support it. You can use my affiliate link in the description and there's also a link to my Patreon as well. All right, until next time, have a good one.